ஹலோ எவ்ரிமான் ஹரிபுரா அண்ட் திரிபுரி செஷன் சுபாஷ் போஸ் வியூஸ் சுபாஷ் சந்திர போஸ் வாஸ் பிரசிடென்ட் ஆஃப் த பெங்கால் ப்ராவின்சியல் காங்கிரஸ் கமிட்டி இஸ் மெயின் ஏரியா ஆஃப் ஒர்க் லே இன் த ஆர்கனைசேஷன் ஆஃப் த யூத் அண்ட் ப்ரொமோட்டிங் த ட்ரேட் யூனியன் மூமெண்ட் போஸ் டிட் நாட் அக்ரி வித் காந்தி அண்ட் அதர் லீடர்ஸ் ஆஃப் த காங்கிரஸ் ஆன் மெனி ஆஸ்பெக்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் த ஸ்ட்ரகிள் ஃபார் ஃப்ரீடம் He, along with Jawaharlal Nehru, opposed the Motilal Nehru report which spoke for dominion status for India. Bose was all for full independence. He also announced the formation of the Indi- Independence League. When the Lahore Congress session started under Jawaharlal Nehru's presidency, he adopted as resolution that the Congress goal would be Purna Swaraj. Bose fully endorsed the decision. He was again fully active in the Salt Satyagraha movement in 1930, forcing the government to arrest him. He was vehemently against the suspension of the civil disobedience movement and the signing of the Gandhi Irwin Pact in 1931, especially as the government refused to, to negotiate on the death sentence for Bhagan Singh and his associates. From all this, we get a clear idea that Bose was a man of action and radical ideas. Haripura At the Congress meeting in Haripura, Gujarat in February 1938, Bose was unanimously elected president of the session. He was firm in his belief that the Congress ministries in the provinces had immense revolutionary potential as he said in his presidential address. Bose also talked of economic development of the country through planning and was instrumental in setting up a national planning committee later. The session adopted a resolution that the Congress would give moral support to those who were agitating against the governance in the princely states. In the following months, the international situation was highly disturbed. There were clear signs that Europe, and, uh, Europe was going to be embroiled in war. 1939 Subhas Bose wins but Congress faces internal strife. In January 1939, Subhas Chandra Bose decided to stand again for the President's post in the Congress. Gandhi was not happy with Bose's candidature. Bose said he represented the new ideas, ideologies, problems and programs that had come out of the progressive sharpening of the anti-imperialist struggle in India. However, Sardar Patel, Rajendra Prasad, J.B. Kripalini and some other members of the Congress Working Committee point out, the, out that it was in the various Congress bodies such as the Working Committee that ideologies and programs were developed. Moreover, the position of the Congress President was more of a constitutional one, representative and symbolic of the unity of the nation. They favored the candidate supported by Gandhi, namely Pattabhi Sitaramaya. Bose won the election by 1580 votes against 1377. He got the full support of the Congress Socialist Party and the Communists. Gandhi congratulated Bose on his victory but also declared that Pattabhi's defeat is my defeat. Now it became a Gandhi vs. Bose issue. Tripuri In March 1939, the Congress session took place at Tripuri in the central provinces near Jabalpur in the present Madhya Pradesh. It was obvious that all was not well within the Congress. The Working Committee, the ruling body of the Congress, is not elected but nominated by the President. The election of the President is thus a constitutional opportunity through which the membership expressed the nature of the leadership of the Congress. With Bose's victory, the polarization in terms of ideology and method of future struggle was clear. Thus, the election of Bose in the face of the opposition of the official machine led to a sharp inner crisis. Shubhash Chandra Bose had accused the working committee leaders of being ready to reach a compromise with the government on the matter of federation. Now those leaders felt that they could not work with the president who had publicly cast doubts on their nationalist principles and resigned from the working committee. Bose was ill when the Tripoli session took place 
but he attended it and in his presidential speech he prophesied that an imperialist war was about to take place in europe he declared in the first place we must give clear and unequivocal expression to what i have been feeling for some time past namely that the time has come for us to raise the issue of swaraj and submit our national demand to the british government in the form of an ultimatum he was in favor of giving a six month ultimatum to britain to grant the national demand of independence if the ultimatum was rejected he said the mass the civil disobedience movement should be launched in his opinion as boss was to write letter letter the congress was strong enough just as the masses were ready for such a struggle he felt that advance should be taken of the international crisis to strive for independence gandhi on the other hand was firm in the belief that it was not the time for such ultimatums as neither the congress nor the masses were yet ready for struggle he was also aware that there were communal discord and class strife and a lack of unified vision and that this would undermine any movement a resolution was moved by govind ballab pant reaffirming faith in gandhian policies and asking boss to dominate the working committee nominate the working committee in accordance with the wishes of gandhi ji and it was passed without opposition from the socialists or the communists apparently the left was not keen on discarding gandhi's leadership however gandhi said that he would not like to impose a working committee on the president and that since boss was the president he should choose the members of the working committee and lead the congress boss continued his support to win gandhi's confidence but did not succeed boss refused to nominate a new working committee boss wanted an immediate struggle led by gandhi whereas gandhi was firm in his belief that the time was not ripe for struggle the problem was that ideologically gandhi and boss were on different platforms gandhi was not willing to lead a congress struggle based on the radical lines preferred by boss even as boss was not willing to compromise on his ideas gandhi was of the view that he would either lead the congress on the basis of his own strategy and style of politics or surrender the position of the leader in his reply to a letter from the boss gandhi wrote the views he expressed seem to be so diametrically opposed to those of the others and my own that i do not see any possibility of bridging them boss had bestowed the support he had got in his election even the socialists and the communists for the most part were not keen on a split in the congress they realized that a split would reduce the left which was not very consolidated at the time to a splinter group they preferred a united congress led by gandhi as the national struggle was of utmost importance and the congress was at the time the main organ of this struggle in the circumstances boss saw no option but to resign he resigned from the president's post in april 1939 this led to the election of lord rajendra prasad as president of the congress the crisis in the congress had been overcome for the present in may boss and his followers formed the forward block at makur unnav as a new party within the congress but when he gave a call for an all india protest on july 9 against the against an aicc resolution the congress working committee took disciplinary action against boss in august 1939 he was removed from the post of president of the bengal provincial congress committee besides being debarred from holding any active office in the congress for a period of 3 years like share and subscribe to support the channel thank you bye